Well, I get a lot of people asking about the divers and all that, and I thought I'd do a little video of how I tie them on, and everybody does it different, but uh, this is what works for me. Uh, when you get your diver, uh, this is the, uh, the uh, Walker Deeper Diver, but um, you'll have two, two uh, eyelets. Uh, you want to tie to the, the one with the trip arm on it. What I do, all I do is come down here and I'll make a slip or a loop knot. Just double your line over. Make it big enough you can fit that diver through. Just like that. Then all you do is run it through the eye of the diver. Like that. Just, loop, just slide everything through the loop. That's all you got to do on that. Uh, these divers will—they uh, break and stuff. So that loop right there, you throw that knot. You can just—you can just take it right back off and put your different diver on there. Then on the, the hook, that's the rule of thumb. I just go to the floor of the boat, lay it flat, and then come up about chest high or a little bit lower, about between your waist and chest. And the hook, I've showed, done this video a lot of times how to tie it, but all you do is double. I might zoom in there, come up here a little bit. Just, all you're going to do is double your line like that. You're going to stick it, stick it through the eye. And all you do is wrap it two or three times on the shank. And it doesn't matter which one you put it around, but just slide your loop right over any one of those and cinch it down. Then you'll come down on your on your weight side or your diver side and all I do is make a half hitch. It doesn't matter which one you put it on. Just cinch it up. That way you can reverse it and pop it right back off. You want to change hooks or change uh, the distance from your diver to your hook or whatever you want to do. But another uh, little trick, these divers the necks on them break real bad down here. I wish they had a diver that didn't didn't have uh, the screw here. I wish it was just uh, solid there where it wouldn't trip off. But a little tip what I do to keep it from breaking off as bad is I put a little pressure with my thumb on that trip arm, then take and back off your screw slowly until it pops in, just like that. And I tighten it all the way down. I don't want that trip arm to trip off if I can. It weakens that neck. And another thing I've noticed too on these Walker deeper divers, if you pop them, a lot of times this this will snap off. Half that uh, the weight side will just it'll it'll break right off. So I don't ever trip them off when I'm reeling them up, no matter what. Uh, another thing too on the bottom of your diver, you have uh, some numbers here. And those numbers are to make it go left to right kind of like a planer board. Uh, what I found is when we're trolling deep water, I'll run it at about one and a half to two on my outside rods. So when you when you turn that number, uh, you lose your dive. So you're gonna have to let out more line to get to the depth that you would if you had it on zero. So like uh, right now, a lot of the fish that we're catching are in, in the 50 foot range. So I know on my reel that I let out 150 feet of line uh, on, on the side ones and it's getting me down there to that 50 foot range on one and a half or two If you slide it over on three when we go to shallow water in the river uh, I'll move it to three that way you're getting it a long ways away from the boat uh, a lot of times in shallow water the spoonbill get real uh, real spooky and I found that if we turn those out on three uh, And get them away from the boat a lot of times you'll run them over with the boat and they shoot out the side before the center hooks ever get to them and they'll hit these outside divers. And so I'll run two on the outside of my boat and I'll, I'll run those out and then uh, the, I'll run two in the center. And the two in the center here lately I've been running anywhere between 30 feet out to, uh, to around 65 feet depending on how deep of water I'm fishing. But again, I'm putting that on zero on my inside rods. But uh, that's basically the, uh, the diver uh, and what we're doing with the diver. But you know, a lot of people's asking me, uh, 
uh, what line we're running. I'm running 80 pound Power Pro line. Uh, we're running meat hunter rods for now. I guess they're going out of business. I uh, heard they couldn't get the tsunami blanks anymore is the reason why. But uh, It's an eight foot uh, heavy rod. And then uh, we've started running the Shimano uh, Dakotas, the 600 LCs with line counter. Uh, you got you got to have a line counter uh, for, to run these divers right. Uh, that way you'll get a more consistent uh, run. Uh, a lot of times we'll go out and every day's different. There'll be different depths and uh, we just kind of play with the with the uh, numbers we let out and eventually you'll you'll hit the right number and how much to let out. Another t deal too, uh, not all real counters are the same. And we found that out last year when he's running two boats. Uh, one, you know, the other boat would be hitting them, and I wouldn't be hitting them. And we had uh, on the uh, Okuma reels in that boat, and we were letting the same amount of line out and everything on the reels, and we just couldn't figure out why. Some days I'd hit them, and he couldn't, and some days he would hit them, and I couldn't, and letting the same amount of line out. So one day we decided to try to pull out 150 foot of line on dry ground on this reel and 150 on the other reel. And they were actually about 20 foot difference in them. So that's a big difference uh, when you're pulling divers in your depth. Uh, that's, that's how you get your depth too, is the amount of line you put out. And uh, we're running about four, four two to four and a half mile an hour. Uh, some days, if they're real spooky, we'll bump up to like four, seven to five mile an hour, but I don't like to run that fast all the time. But uh, if you can find these uh, Shimano's, they're hard to find right now for some reason, I don't know. We're we're trying to get a few more, but uh, these reels have been through through the ringer. Uh, had them. This will be the second season, I guess, with them, and I had absolutely no problems with them at all all last season. Uh, this year, I had a level one go out on me because of the ice, and then uh, this one here, I'm having trouble with the uh, with the handle on the reel, which has nothing to do with the gears or anything. So. They're a solid reel, and that's that's basically the setup that we're using to pull the divers. Um, hoping that'll answer a lot of the questions that people are calling and asking or texting about. But uh, we'll share this on a lot of uh, pages, and and uh, hopefully it'll it'll solve a lot of your your problems running divers. Um, the first year we ran divers, I didn't have much faith in them. Um, we'd run, you know, lead, and I've ran lead forever. And uh, that's what most people run. And so we get, ran half diver, half lead. And we were hitting more fish with lead. And uh, so I was getting kind of frustrated with it. I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. But uh, eventually we figured out the numbers and, and little tricks like I showed you turning them out. And they outfish, especially on suspended fish, they, they'll, they'll outfish your lead big time just because you know you're putting that hook at that right depth. Uh, lead, you know, a lot of you guys know it's a guessing game when you're fishing 75 foot of water and the fish are suspended up, you know, 20 foot off the bottom in the 50 foot range. When you're letting lead out, you have no idea. Uh, this is a lot more uh, calculated and, and uh, you, once you figure out your numbers at different depths, they're in trouble. I mean, uh, you can figure it out at 40 foot, foot 30 foot, 50 foot and I once they get down below 60 they're hard to hit with the 107 so that's another thing too these deeper divers what I'm using now uh, they're a number 107 size and uh, they're they're quite a bit cheaper than the uh, Dipsy diver the Dipsy's made a little bit better but uh, not not to justify the price and another thing I don't like about the Dipsy diver it has a ring that goes around it and after a while, that ring gets weak and, and breaks off. Well, the deeper diver doesn't have a ring at all. So that's that's one of the reasons, too, I really like the Dipsy Diver. But get out there and try them. I'll guarantee they'll, especially in the wintertime on suspended fish, they'll outfish uh, lead all day long. And once they go to the river, in the last two years, we've really worked with it, turning those divers out to the side. And once we got them hooks away from the boat, uh, we caught more fish too, just because those fish are spooky. Uh, on my boat, uh, I run, I run a, a, a can you talk, a Lawrence HDS 12, and I got a nine on the front on the trolling motor. So I put my trolling motor in when we're trolling, 
and I'll turn uh, I'll turn one of my screens on my 12 on the front and you can really see some days you'll hit them on the front trolling on the on the front uh, sonar and by the time they get to the back on my down scan they're gone so that right there tells you that as soon as the boat gets on top of them they're, they're squirting out to the sides and and uh, turning those uh, outside uh, rods out and making them run out to the left to the right of your boat will make a huge difference once uh, those fish get spooky like that. And you don't really notice it a lot in the winter time when they're out deep uh, of them getting spooky, but I've seen it uh, the last two times we've been out. Uh, they've, they've gotten real spooky and, and running out even in the deep water, but especially up uh, uh, later on once they get into that 30 to uh, 20 foot range they get real spooky and the more boats you get on top of them the spookier they get and that turning those out to three and running those you know way out on the sides of the boat will will catch you more fish guaranteed but uh, if you get any more questions you can uh, ask them on the comments on these uh, videos I'll post them on several pages but uh, hopefully that answered a lot of your questions